So this is going to be a portion um, for just abdominal work. Um, everything's going to be on the floor. Um, so what we're going to start with is an entire circuit. So each of these are exercises are going to be performed back to back to back. Um, once you've completed all the exercises listed, then you will take a little bit of a break. Um, 45 seconds to a minute, and then you go to the circuit again. So three to four rounds of this circuit all together is plenty for the abdominals. You're definitely going to be feeling a burn, definitely going to have some soreness. Um, so what I'd like you to start with, here's what we're going to lay down on your back. You're going to keep your knees bent. Make sure that your back is flat against the ground and that you don't have any kind of a weird arch going on because um, it's really hard to activate the core. So even if you need to tuck your pelvis in a little bit, under, I should say, um, that's going to help you engage your core. So we're going to start with a ceiling crunch. And this is um, a little bit different style of a crunch. Instead of going up and forward, we're really going to isolate the upper abdominals, this little first set here, by going straight up to the ceiling and back down. So you lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, and make sure everything's nice and smooth. So you never go all the way down and relax. You keep those shoulder blades just to touch the ground and then press them right back up, keeping the abs nice and tight, nice and smooth. Okay, so that's gonna be your first one for 20 reps. Your second one, we're going right into bicycle crunches. I know a lot of, most people have done these before. So you're gonna clasp your hands behind your head for support and you're gonna bring knee to opposite elbow. So stretch those legs out and keep your core nice and tight. Now, if you do have trouble with keeping the legs out and maintaining that because it is, it is a strain on the low back if you have a little weaker uh, core, um, just bring them a little bit higher and it will put the pressure straight down and it'll keep your low back on the floor and it'll keep you from arching if that's what you're having happen. So again, nice and tight core. You can have them low or you can have them high depending on what you're able to do um, in the beginning. All right, so the third one we're going to do, this one's always a really good one. It, it gives you a really good burn. So we're going to have one leg down. Um, the modified version of this is going to be the leg slightly up. Okay, but I'm going to show you the advanced version. So you're going to have one leg all the way down. We're going to have this leg up, so we'll have left to start. And what we're going to do here is we're going to bring both hands to the side of the shoelaces and back down. So one, down. One, down. You keep it as nice and slow so you're not rushing through this, okay? So nice and slow and controlled, but you never relax the shoulder blades on the ground. You stay activated. So you go here, 10 reps on this side, and then 10 reps on the right side. And what this does is because you're doing a cross body reach, you're getting a lot of your side obliques involved. Um, so you're getting upper, middle, lower, and um, side activation, which is really good to get in all in one exercise. So um, the fourth one I want you to do is gonna be kind of a roll knee to chest exercise. So you're gonna have your knees up, you're gonna roll it, kick it out. Roll it up, kick it out. So when you roll it up, tighten your um, lower abdominals, lift your hips, and kick it out. So these can be difficult if you're not quite strong enough in the core. So plant your hands underneath, Give yourself a little bit of support, and if you need to keep them higher, just kick them out to the top, and that'll keep you from arching that low back. So, advanced version here, modified, a little bit higher. Okay, so that was actually a really good one. Um, but definitely feel this. Okay, so most people uh, do have trouble with sit ups. I did when I first got started. Um, sit-ups are pretty difficult. So um, if you need somebody to hold your feet or if you need to stick your feet up underneath like a couch or something, um, that will help assist you. So if you find that you're straining too much to do these, I would rather you turn them into just a high crunch. So if you need to come up here, this will be your alternative, okay? So for a sit-up, we're going to come all the way up, stretch at the top, and back down. Up, stretch, and back down. And if you widen your legs a little bit, it does make it a little bit easier to come up. So that's another variation you can do. And as I'm rolling down, I'm keeping my back round. I'm not going here, just flopping down, okay? If so you want to keep everything engaged, so squeeze, stretch, up, and squeeze. Okay. All right. So those are some really good basic ones you can do 
Um, by the time you've done 20 reps of each of those in a circuit of three to four rounds, you're definitely be doing doing something. <laughs> so uh, those are some of my favorite go-tos. They're really quick and easy to do. They do not have to be set up with like the body weight routine that I showed you. It could be done, you know, in the morning when you wake up. It could be after after a ride. It could just be on a day that you weren't planning on doing anything else. Anytime you train your core is a good day. Um, you don't have to do this four or five times a day. One time a day or one time every other day is sufficient. Um, but those are some of my favorite um, ground um, activation for abs. Um, of course, you can't go wrong with planks. Um, planks are one of the best overall exercises. So there is one that I want to show you, and this could be added into um, the body, body weight circuit, or it could be added into the abs circuit, whichever one. So I really like this one because it works shoulders, triceps, biceps, chest, and definitely abs. So we're going to start in a full plank. Make sure you're nice and engaged here, okay? Chest up tall, you're gonna have your core tight and your glutes engaged. And you're gonna walk down to your elbows, back up to your hands. And you're alternating what you come up on each time so you don't always depend on that dominant arm. So this would be your advanced version. Modified is gonna be on the knees, but your hips are down and forward. So you still put a lot of pressure on the core and those arms and shoulders still have to work um, a lot. So that just takes the pressure off. If you're up here and you can't do this and you're all over the place, please drop down to a modified plank. It's not worth hurting yourself. Uh, after a week or two of adding in a lot of different plank exercises, even if they're modified, you're going to end up in the advanced uh, full plank exercise. So you'll get there, I promise. Um, it just takes consistency. So those are definitely um, my top, top five. Um, Floor exercises for isolating abdominals. Um, the last thing I am going to show you in the next video clip is going to be some isolation for shoulders and biceps. Um, just so you guys have an idea, if you do have some dumbbells at home or you do go to the gym, um, some um, angles that are really good to hit those shoulders, upper back, and those arms to so make sure you're doing them correctly. So that will be next.